guys, it's Melanie. Happy Tuesday and welcome to my skincare updates video. I like to do this video once a month and what I do with this particular video is I give you just some additional thoughts on some things that I've been trying. Um, I try a lot of new skincare. It's something that I have really transitioned to in the last couple of years on my channel. I have put much more of an emphasis on taking care of my skin versus covering up my problems with makeup. Um, I am almost 39 years old <laughs> and I have to say that despite being much older than I was in the past, big duh. <laughs> my skin actually looks better now than it did when I was in my 20s. When I did really very minimal skincare, I always had congested clogged pores. I dealt with blackheads. Um, not so much like acne, like I didn't have pimples. I would get the occasional whiteheads here and there, but blackheads, enlarged pores, super oily skin, those were the issues that basically I've been dealing with since I became a teenager. So um, a lot of the things that I use in terms of skincare now are focused on not only dealing with the oily skin, which is still an issue in my life, not so much so as it has been before, um, but I still have oily skin. <laughs> I'm also uh, still using products that uh, mostly focus on keeping my pores clear. So a lot of beta hydroxy acids, also AHAs, I find that those are great for anti-aging for me personally. Lots of glycolic acids, lactic acids, just things that help to keep my pores and my complexion as clear as possible. Uh, things that help my pores, which were stretched out from years of like being congested, using products that help to diminish the look of my pores. So that's that's a long story. I'm ba I basically just focus on a bunch of like anti-aging stuff now <laughs> and things that keep my skin clear. So I'm going to be sharing with you some things that were newer to my skincare regimen over the last couple of months. I think I did this video last month. I honestly can't remember, but I do go owe you guys some updates on some recent things that I have been incorporating. And I'm going to go ahead and dive right in. Everything, everything will be linked down below in the description box. So if you want to go read up some more about these products, see if they are a good fit for you, see if they're worth investing in. Honestly, a lot of this stuff is a little bit more expensive, but I, I don't mind personally the more expensive skincare as long as it works and uh, it does stuff for my skin. That's If it works, I'll pay for it. <laughs> I know some people don't like it when I say that, but really, truly, if, if a product costs $5 and it works amazingly well, fabulous, I'll use that. If a product costs like $78, but it works really well, I'll use that. So anyway, I'm just telling you guys my experience. Your experience may vary, which is why I tell you to go look up other people's reviews. That's why I put the links down below for you to go check things out. There we go. All right, what do I start with? Jeez, there's a lot. Okay. I'm going to be really brief with a lot of this stuff. Let me know if you have in-depth questions in the comments section. First thing I'm going to mention is the Ever Skincare line. This actually came to me via Octoly. And you can see that I am actually, I think I still, it's about a third, maybe a little bit less than a third, uh, of the Youthful Quattro Peptide Face and Eye Serum. So I use this both on my face, not so much on my face regularly, but I would use this on my face as well as my neck and my decollete. I find that a lot of women ignore this area. You shouldn't ignore that. That shows your age probably more so than your face a lot of times because most people ignore it. So I've been specifically using a lot of these Ever skincare products in that general region and I think they're good. Do I think that they are must have investment skincare items? Not necessarily. These are not things that I would personally repurchase. And by the way, these were sent to me via Octoly, so I, I didn't pay for these. Uh, but I don't have to give them a glowing review. That's not a requirement of anything that I share on my channel. Whenever a company sends me something, by the way, I tell them that it is my experience that I'm sharing. So if it's not good, I will share that. If it's amazing, I will share that. So 
these are my honest opinions on these products. I really, I do like this. Out of the three products, I would say I like this serum the best. Although, it's not holy grail for me, and it's kind of expensive, so, and there's new things that I want to try, so I wouldn't repurchase this, but it does help to help with, like, surface cell turnover. It works to hydrate and kind of plump this whole area on me. It's a, it's a nice serum, but not something that I must have. The oil I could not use on my face because this one made me break out. I'm not sure what it was on here that made me break out, but I can use it on my neck and my decollete, so that's where I'm going to finish this. It's, it's a nice oil. It has um, a blend of several different types of oils in there. It smells good, but yeah, this wasn't like a must-have for me. And the pads, I am actually completely, let me open this up, I am actually completely done with the pads. I thought the pads were nice. Not something that I would need to get again, to be totally honest. I do think they did a good job of exfoliating my neck and my decollete area. I would just use one of these at night and sort of, you know, wipe everything down and then go over it with this when I was using the two together and this actually this needs to go into my beauty empties for the month so I'll stick that in there but yeah the reveal what are they called reveal biomimetric peel pads they were nice but for the price I, I think there's other things to try so that is the ever skincare I wanted to share with you guys some more thoughts on the dermatology essential 11 hydrating cleanser I did already share this in a Friday favorites I am actually down to about right here. I really, really love this cleanser in the morning. This is fabulous because it gets all of your remaining traces of, you know, skincare products that you may have put on your face and neck from the night before, but it, but it does it in a way that is soothing and hydrating and just fabulous. I love the way this makes my skin feel. I never leave the shower feeling like I have tight skin, but I feel like I have a clear fresh palette to pile all my makeup on top of <laughs> like um this is a really nice cleanser you guys it is uh it's rich in antioxidant um peptide okay i'm gonna i'm gonna try that again this contains rich anti-aging peptide complexes <laughs> It's supposed to deliver a bright, clear complexion, and it features 11 botanical extracts and essential oils. Some of those would be clary sage extract, um, aloe, cucumber, orange oil, sweet almond oil, lime oil, ginger root oil. This smells amazing, and I just, I find it to be like the perfect morning cleanser for me. I like this a lot. It is a little bit more expensive, uh, but you only need like a half a pump to do your face and your neck. It's 6.8 fluid ounces. I think this is somewhere in like the $28 range. I'll put it down below. But if you have dry skin, but you still deal with maybe some breakouts, I feel like this is a really good one to try because it is not drying in any kind of way. It's fantastic. Okay. Quick update for you guys on the Paracone MD Preempt series. I love, I love this entire line. I've already finished the cleanser. I've already finished the cleanser. The cleanser was amazing. I wouldn't repurchase it though because I have less expensive cleansers that I like just as much, but it is a really nice cleanser. The toner, I love this toner. I, I only use like a little bit on a cotton pad. It helps to sort of rebalance my skin after cleansing. These are, by the way, mostly nighttime products that I'm sharing with you guys right here. The cleanser I would use in the morning sometimes, but mostly at night. Um, this, this toner helps to sort of rebalance my skin, takes away any remaining traces of makeup that I may not have gotten. It's wonderful. Is this the must-have product in the line for me? No. Let me tell you guys what the must-have products in the line for me are. It's this eye cream, which is their brightening uh, eye cream. <laughs> and I'm like halfway through this and it's breaking my heart because this, this line is so expensive, you guys. But it's one that as soon as I'm out of the things that I love, these two things, <laughs> I will be purchasing them because they are just amazing products. This Skin Perfecting Serum, gorgeous. Again, I'm halfway through that. I will be 
it'll be hard to spend the I mean I don't I don't even know how much this is I think it's like in the $70 range I think this is in the $60 range but it'll be worth every penny like I will save my pennies for these two things to be totally honest with you guys because I think they're absolutely to die for products smoothing hydrating plumping make me look so much younger type products this this line is amazing love these two I really like this um, moisturizing cream as well. It is oil free. It doesn't clog my pores. It's just fantastic. I've used quite a bit of it. I love the smell of this line. It has a very kind of fresh clean scent to it. But would I spend the money on this again? Not necessarily. Again, this is really expensive and I feel like there's other moisturizers that I've used from like Ulla Henriksen um, that I think are just as great and honestly there's a lot of other moisturizers that I want to try I'll, I'll be sad to run out but I don't think that I would like run back to this one right away the only thing from the line that I was like nah, I don't know that this is a must in any kind of way is and I haven't even used it all that much it's their preempt what are they calling this the fixer solid so this is basically for any dry patches on both your face and your body I, I used it on an eczema patch and it did clear it up very quickly you can use this on your cuticles I just kind of think that I, I it's just not something that I reach for you know there's other things that I use for treating my eczema and there's hand creams that I use so I will finish this I need to actually put it just by my bedside stand and at night I can put it maybe on like scars and again my cuticles and just use it up that way but it's not something that I think is a must-have this contains natural oils there's no parabens there's no waxes um and it's a, it's an okay product just not something that I would spend the money on because again this is a spendy product I'm trying to be really quick about this because I know these videos just drag on sometime sometimes um Okay, Epionce, real quick update on the Lytic Sport TX. Still loving this, using this during the day. Uh, it doesn't take a lot. This has a uh, kind of a salicylic acid base to it, which for me helps to keep my pores clear. Uh, this works really well underneath my makeup too. Doesn't make me overly oily. I don't use it every single day. I'll use it usually every other or every third day. On days where I'm not using this, I use vitamin C serums, niacinamide, that kind of stuff. But this is great to use several times a week. It helps to combat the oiliness in my skin. It sort of helps to balance everything out when it comes to my oiliness and my clogged pores. If I'm dealing with some breakouts because of some stuff that I've been using, which I will share next, <laughs> I put this on and those issues are gone very, very quickly because of this. There are different, several different formulations of Lytic. There are some that are better for drier skin. There are some that are better for just normal skin. I will link my review of the Epionce Lytic Sport TX down below. In that video, I also link the several different types of Lytics that are available. There might be one that's better suited for your particular skin type, but I love this. It's expensive, but I will buy this. I, I bought this myself <laughs> from Derm Store and uh, it was worth every penny. I love this product love that okay let's talk about a brand new line that I've been trying for like the last I think it's been about four weeks now haven't really said much about this because I was kind of saving it for this video and this is from a company called Swiss Vita and they're kind of interesting I wrote some things down because there's some things that I definitely wanted to point out for you guys this skincare line is interesting because they have sort of fused European beauty technology with Asian beauty technology so there's this fusion of like Asian skincare and European skincare and they came out with this line their main focus for this line is correcting dark spots um, helping with lines so fine lines and then deeper wrinkles so it's really more of like an anti-aging type of line I don't think this is something that like a a teenager or a 20 year old need to, needs to use I mean you could for prevention purposes I suppose but this is more of an anti-aging skincare line that is geared towards people that are actively dealing with fine lines deeper wrinkles in the forehead neck that general region so 
Um, the packaging is very simple. It is aluminum. So, you know, when you're using it, you just kind of like squeeze it down and you know like like a toothpaste tube if you will so it is very basic packaging the price range for all of these items that they have which did I mention these were sent to me these were sent for me sent to me for consideration um the price point when the things are on sale which they appear to be right now is somewhere in like the 29 to like 35 dollar range so reasonable definitely reasonable prices when the items are not on sale, um, they're more in like the $50 to $60 range. I don't know that I would ever pay those non-sale prices to be totally honest with you guys. Um, but let me let me get into this because I, and, and by the way, the line doesn't have any sulfates, no parabens. They don't put any additives into their formulations. There's no like artificial like colors or alcohol or fragrance or anything like that. So um, there's there's nothing in here that should technically like irritate your skin. However, for some reason, two of these products, and it's these two right here, they're Micrite 3D All Use Anti Wrinkle Serum, this guy right here, and they're Micrite. I hope I'm saying that right, 3D All Uses Serum. So these are both supposed to help with enhancing the firmness of your skin, helping to treat fine lines, deeper lines, um, spots that you have on your face. So these are supposed to address those issues. However, whenever I use these on my face, I would break out with whiteheads though. And normally that doesn't happen to me. I don't tend to have reactions to skincare very much at all, which I'm so thankful for because I love trying new things. But these two things, the two times that I tried them, just, and by two times, I mean they're like, I tried them, started noticing breakouts almost like the next day and the following day. So I stopped using after about four days, let my skin clear up, and then another week later I tried it again. And once again, just those whiteheads popped up right away. So I don't know what it is in these two items that made me break out, but it was a bummer because I do like the way they feel on my skin. So what I'm going to be using these for actually in the future is, I have tried these on my neck. Um, they, no problems on my neck, like just, actually quite fabulous very hydrating very soothing feeling uh, once I'm done with this I will just start using this and I I feel like I am going to see some good benefits in terms of plumping and hydration in this general area but for some reason just on my face I can't use these however I really enjoy their eye it is like a gel it's uh, I kind of like eye gels because they feel a little bit lighter I don't love it as much as I love this, but it is a really nice eye gel. And um, it just, when it dries down, you're, it just makes that whole area not only look really well hydrated, but it, it almost gives it like a little bit of a glow. Um, and it just, it everything looks smoother. So it, I do think this is really nice. They call it an eye cream, but it is more of like a gel consistency and this one also helps to fade dark circles underneath your eyes so if you are someone that deals with dark circles this might be worth looking into I don't have that problem so I can't report back on that but I do know that I really like the consistency of this if you tend to get milia because of heavier creams it might be worth looking into a gel like this and their cleanser you can see I've I've like butchered this uh you really should kind of go from the top, and I didn't at first. I was just kind of squeezing it out. This is their Micrite 3D All Uses uh, Cleanser Cream. This is fabulous. So whether you have dry skin, sensitive skin, oily skin, combination skin, whatever, I feel like this is a great generic cleanser for everybody. It is not drying, but it does foam up just a little bit. I use it with my Clarisonic. It foams really gently. You just massage it into your skin, either with your Foria Luna, your Clarisonic, or if you use a face brush, fingers. Although I, th I think if you're using your fingers, maybe at least look into one of those really soft like silicone pads. Um, it really does make a difference when you really get into like your pores and stuff with 
I mean, your fingers, it's better than nothing, but I do think there are better ways to cleanse your skin. I, I For me personally, the biggest change in my skin came about when I started using the Clarisonic because I felt like I was cleaning my pores so much deeper. Huge difference for me personally. So maybe if you have enlarged pores, it doesn't have to be the Clarisonic, just some kind of brush, even just a manual, so, really soft bristle brush that you can work your um, cleansers into your skin with. I just kind of feel like that's really worthwhile. But this cleanser for everybody, I feel like is a great cleanser. I use this at night, like I said, with the Clarisonic. Removes all traces of makeup. Really gentle. Doesn't leave my skin feeling tight or irritated or anything. Like it just, it honestly just makes my skin feel normal and clean. Like there's nothing, it's not like it's overly hydrated from this, but it just doesn't dry in any kind of way. And there's a lot of cleansers, you know, like you'll feel a little bit tight afterwards with certain cleansers, but this one, it, it's lovely. This is a really nice product. I would definitely recommend checking out these two products. These I'm going to have to report back on when I use them on my neck, but on my face, they just didn't really work all that well. This video was so long. I will leave links for all of these things down below, so be sure to go check those out. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thank you so much for sitting through this long video. I appreciate you guys watching, and I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.